Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! I thought I was gonna die. Dramatic testimony from Officer Wes Carrick is on tap for today as he'll be back on the stand in his own defense against voluntary manslaughter charges. WCCB News Rising at 4.30 starts now on Charlotte CW. Our top story this morning, the prosecution in the West Carrick case is preparing to face off with the former CMPD officer today when Carrick goes back on the witness stand. He's been waiting nearly two years to tell his side of the story and explain why he shot Jonathan Farrell, who was unarmed, ten times. Thursday, Carrick got emotional as he began his testimony. He continued aggressing on me. No matter what I did, he wouldn't stop. I wasn't sure how many rounds I had fired. None of them affected him in any, any way. I didn't think my gun was working. And then finally, with the last round, I was able to get out from under him and, and get, get up to my knees. And he was still trying to advance towards me. I kept my gun drawn on him and ordered him not to move. Show the jury how loudly you were yelling and what you were yelling after you were able to get out from underneath him. Don't move! Don't move! The defense is expected to finish questioning Carrick today. Then the prosecution will have its chance. Before Carrick took the stand, jurors heard from Officer Thornell Little, who shot Jonathan Farrell with a taser that night. Little testified that Farrell was pacing, slapping his thighs, and walking toward him, ignoring commands to stop. That's why he fired his taser. All in all, Officer Little backed up Officer Carrick's account of what happened the night Farrell was shot. He was running at straight up Officer Carrick and it appears like he was trying to knock him over. It was a full pace run towards him. And then, then he disappeared? Yes. Both of them? Yes. The state then cross-examined Officer Little and played the dash cam video from that night. Prosecutors also attacked Officer Little, asking when he heard Farrell scream or saw him pacing. Little testified that those actions could not be seen in the dash cam video. Many churches in the Charlotte area are having the conversation about racial healing as Officer Carrick's trial plays out. Members of Nations Ford Community Church gathered to discuss ways to begin an open dialogue about deep-seated racial issues across the country and here in Charlotte. Bring people of different ethnic groups together to begin to break down the walls and build bridges that will help us to reconcile our community. Pastor Davis hopes other churches in the area will join him in bringing racial harmony to the Queen City. Your morning time check 436. Police in Albemarle are investigating this morning after a Confederate soldier's memorial was defaced. The vandalism was discovered Thursday morning by city employees who were heading to work. The statue at the corner of Main and Depot Street was spray painted with graffiti. Police are still trying to find the person who was responsible. This man, Jimmy Rabin, is in custody this morning after turning himself into police. He's accused of swinging an axe at a woman in Hickory while wearing a clown mask and a multicolored wig. The 28-year-old is charged with assault with a deadly weapon and breaking and entering. The woman escaped unharmed. 437 now, ahead on rising at 442, why hundreds of teaching assistants in our area could be without jobs when school starts. Hear what the Charlotte Mecklenburg School Board Chair has to say about how the gridlock and rally is causing problems in Charlotte. First, Caitlin is back with another quick check of your forecast. Hey. Hi, Taryn. So another dry day today and a dry weekend ahead, even though we need the rain. We still have drought conditions out there. I'll get an updated check of the drought in the Charlotte area and the WCCB viewing area. Also, take a look at that seven-day forecast and show you when the rain is going to return. It's all ahead at 444. Nothing can be fine. Nothing can be fine.